Ilmenite is the titanium iron oxide mineral with the idealized formula FeSO3. It is a weakly magnetic black or steel gray solid. From the commercial perspective, ilmenite is the most important ore of titanium. Structure and properties Ilmenite crystallizes in the trigonal system. The ilmenite crystal structure consists of an ordered derivative of the corundum structure. In corundum all cations are identical but in ilmenite, Fe2 plus and T4 plus ions occupy alternating layers perpendicular to the trigonal C-axis. Containing high spin ferrous centers, ilmenite is paramagnetic. Ilmenite is commonly recognized in altered igneous rocks by the presence of a white alteration product, the pseudomineral leucoxin. Often ilmenites are rimmed with leucoxin, which allows ilmenite to be distinguished from magnetite and other iron titanium oxides. The example shown in the image at right is typical of leucoxin rimmed ilmenite. In reflected light it may be distinguished from magnetite by more pronounced reflection pleochroism and a brown-pink tinge. Samples of ilmenite exhibit a weak response to a hand magnet. Mineral chemistry Ilmenite most often contains appreciable quantities of magnesium and manganese and the full chemical formula can be expressed as O3. Ilmenite forms a solid solution with glycolite and pyrophonite which are magnesium and manganiferous end members of the solid solution series. Although there appears evidence of the complete range of mineral chemistries in the O3 system naturally occurring on Earth. The vast bulk of ilmenites are restricted to close to the ideal FeSO3 composition, with minor mole percentages of Mn and Mg. A key exception is in the ilmenites of kimberlites where the mineral usually contains major amounts of glycolite molecules, and in some highly differentiated felsic rocks ilmenites may contain significant amounts of pyrophonite molecules. At higher temperatures it has been demonstrated there is a complete solid solution between ilmenite and hematite. There is a miscibility gap at lower temperatures, resulting in a coexistence of these two minerals in rocks but no solid solution. This coexistence may result in exolution lamellae in cooled ilmenites with more iron in the system than can be homogeneously accommodated in the crystal lattice. Altered ilmenite forms the mineral leucoxin, an important source of titanium in heavy mineral sands or deposits. Leucoxin is a typical component of altered gabbro and diorite and is generally indicative of ilmenite in the unaltered rock. Parogenesis Ilmenite is a common accessory mineral found in metamorphic and igneous rocks. It is found in large concentrations in layered intrusions where it forms as part of accumulate layer within the silicate stratigraphy of the intrusion. Ilmenite generally occurs within the pyroxenitic portion of such intrusions. Magnesian ilmenite is indicative of kimberlitic parogenesis and forms part of the MARID association of minerals assemblage of glimmerites and liths. Manganiferous ilmenite is found in granitic rocks and also in carbonatite intrusions where it may also contain anomalous niobium. Many mafic igneous rocks contain grains of intergrown magnetite and ilmenite, formed by the oxidation of olvospinel. Ilmenite also occurs as discrete grains, typically with some hematite in solid solution. And complete solid solution exists between the two minerals at temperatures above about 950 degrees Celsius. Titanium was identified for the first time by William Gregor in 1791 in Ilmenite from the Monarchan Valley in Cornwall, southwest England. Ilmenite is named after the locality of its discovery in the Ilminsky Mountains, near Mias, Russia. Processing and consumption Most ilmenite is mined for titanium dioxide production. In 2011, about 47% of the titanium dioxide produced worldwide were based on this material. Finely ground titanium dioxide is a bright white powder widely used as a base pigment in paint, paper and plastics. Metallic titanium can be easily derived from it for uses such as aircraft and high-strength steel devices. North America and Europe together consume about 50% of the world's titanium dioxide production. 
Demand by India and China is growing rapidly and may eventually surpass Western consumption. Ilmenite is ultimately converted into pigment-grade titanium dioxide via either the sulfate process or the chloride process. Sulfate process plants must utilize low vanadium ilmenite, as vanadium is a penalty element. Titanium dioxide pigment can also be produced from higher titanium content feedstocks such as upgraded slag, rutile and leucox and via a chloride acid process. Sulfate and chloride process pigment tends to be used for lower and higher quality applications respectively. Uses more and more preferring the chloride process. The five largest TO2 pigment processes are DuPont, Crystal Global, Huntsman, Kronos and Trinox. DuPont having pioneered the chloride process in the 1960s and having converted to the use of the chloride process for all its applications. Major paint and coating company and users for pigment grade titanium dioxide include Axono Bell, PPG Industries, Sherwin Williams, BASF, Kansai Paints and Valspar. Global TO2 pigment demand for 2010 was 5.3 mount with annual growth expected to be about 3 to 4%. Most ilmenite ore production from Canada, South Africa and Norway is destined for titaniferous slag application. The iron can be further processed as pig iron, as continuous cast steel billets, or as iron or steel powders. A related chemically processed technology is termed the Beecher process. Ilmenite ore is used as a flux by steelmakers to line blast furnace hearth refractory. Ilmenite sand is also used as a sandblasting agent in the cleaning of die casting dyes. Feedstock production Australia was the world's largest ilmenite ore producer in 2011, with about 1.3 million tonnes of production, followed by South Africa, Canada, Mozambique, India, China, Vietnam, Ukraine, Norway, Madagascar and United States. Although most ilmenite is recovered from heavy mineral sands or deposits, Ilmenite can also be recovered from layered intrusive sources or hard rock titanium ore sources. The top four Ilmenite and rutile feedstock producers in 2010 were Rio Tinto Group, Iluca Resources, Xero and Kenmare Resources, which collectively accounted for more than 60% of world's supplies. The world's two largest open-cast Ilmenite mines are the Telnus mine located in Sondal, Norway, and run by Titania as with 0.55 mtPa capacity and 57 mount contained TO2 reserves. The Rio Tinto Group's Lactio mine located near Havre Saint-Pierre, Quebec in Canada with a 3 mtPa capacity and 52 mount reserves. Major mineral sands-based ilmenite mining operations include Richards Bay Minerals in South Africa, majority owned by the Rio Tinto Group, Kenmare Resources MoMA Mine in Mozambique, Iluka Resources Mining Operations in Australia including Murray Basin, Eniaba and Capel, the Kerala Minerals and Metals Limited, Indian Rare Earths, VV Mineral Mines in India. Tizir Limited's Grande Coat Mine in Senegal, QIT Madagascar Minerals Mine, majority owned by the Rio Tinto Group, which began production in 2009 and is expected to produce 0.75 mtPa of ilmenite, potentially expanding to 2 mtPa in future phases. Attractive major potential ilmenite deposits include the Kahu Dupaka magnetic ilmenite deposit in Kolari, northern Finland with around 5 mount reserves and ore containing about 6.2% titanium. The Bola Bola magnetite iron titanium vanadium ore deposit in the Pilbara of Western Australia, which contains 456 million tons of cumulate ore horizon grading 45% Fe, 13.7% TO2 and 0.64% V2O5. One of the richest magnetite ilmenite ore bodies in Australia, the Cobin, WIM50 Douglas, Pankeri Mineral Sands Deposits in Australia.
The Magpie Titan O magnetite deposits in eastern Quebec of Canada with about 1 billion tons containing about 43% Fe, 12% TO2, 0.4% V2O5, and 2.2% Cr2O3. Lunar Ilmenite Ilmenite has been found in moon rocks, and is typically highly enriched in magnesium similar to the Kimberlitic Association. In 2005 NASA used the Herbal Space Telescope to locate potentially ilmenite-rich locations. This mineral could be essential to an eventual moon base, as ilmenite would provide a source of iron and titanium for the building of structures and essential oxygen extraction.